Official Xbox Magazine UK used to provide free game cases containing a demo disc in each issue. As a young teen, I enjoyed these demo discs more than the actual full games. I had a short attention span, and still do arguably, and not a lot of games. So getting 6 to 9 games on a single disc was like Christmas. Well, some say 9 games, but they really only have 6 weird. I always wanted the demos to be longer but I had so much fun I would replay them over and over. So nearly 15 years later are the demo discs still fun to play? Today I am reviewing the demo disc from issue 36 December 2004. This contains 6 games. FIFA Football 2005 is the only Xbox Live demo. This allowed you to play an online match of another player. I'm not sure how many players were available at the time who had Xbox Live and the same demo disc, but this is rather impressive. Of course, Xbox Live for this console is long gone, so we're left with a solo experience against the CPU. Out of all the teams, only Arsenal and AC Milan are playable for some reason. Ed edit your starting lineup and it's off to the pitch. I couldn't tell you the difference between any of these football games. One of the announcers does though. Hi there, John Motson here and it's my great pleasure to spend the next few minutes talking to you about what's new in FIFA 2005. First up is an innovative new gameplay feature called First Touch Control. This feature allows total control of your player's first touch. Also added this year are custom tournaments and the possibility of putting yourself in the game with the ability to change hair colour, eye shape, nose length and a host of other areas, you will be able to create yourself and play alongside some of the world's greats. I wonder how much the newer games have improved on these features. Next is Dead or Alive Ultimate, another series captured here in a time before it was ravished of online in-game purchases. Choose from a selection of scantily clad ladies or men if you're into that and juke it out to the death. Graphics are surprisingly high detailed for a standard definition game. Some levels are interactable like knocking an opponent down the steps of a castle. Controls are great too. I'm worried newer FIFA and Dead or Alive games haven't improved much on their older games. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six 3 Black Arrow. It's a first person tactical shooter. My only gripe is everything is so dark it's almost unplayable. That is until you use night vision which makes everything green. It may cause eye strain but hey it's realistic. Back when easy mode wasn't easy. Check every roof, sneak round corners and be a damn good shot. You have three squad mates to command, you can make them stop, follow or charge at the enemy and you all have health packs. None of this regenerating health nonsense. There's not even a health pack for you to find to restore your health. It controls well too. Make sure to keep your team alive while knowing when to fight alongside them to get through the level. I needed to know the level inside out before I could beat it. Before you start the mission you have a vast choice of weapons to try out and a few other game modes. For a demo disc that's quite generous. Definitely my favourite game on this disc. And in the blue corner, Chicago, Illinois. Bay game at 235 pounds. The Southside Rocky Legends. You'd think a demo would go easy on a new player, wouldn't you? Ha! This is the original Xbox, only pros here. You choose from three fighters, Rocky, Clubber Lang or some lanky British guy I've never heard of. Whoever you pick doesn't matter because the CPU will trounce you every time. They'll pull off combos left and right, whacking off big chunks of health. Meanwhile your punches barely make a dent and there's no option to check combos. The only chance you have of winning is against a second human player or using the internet. You can swap between light or heavy punches and kick Kick while fighting at either the docks or boxing stadium. It looks like it could be fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. You're out. Fight Club. First rule of Fight Club. This is two player only, so fuck off. The Jerks of Hazard. Return of the General Lee. Based on 1980s TV series The Jerks of Hazard, I never watched. The town of Dodge seems to be full of stereotypes and constant puns. 
don't know about you city folks, but this seems more frustrating than a traffic jam in peak hour. Race away from the law as two American country bumpkins who most likely have never seen a driver's license. From a glance you'd think this played similar to GTA but in the country, looks can be deceiving. Rather than being an open world you're stuck on a one way road with no shortcuts. Despite the fences looking easily destructible, they seem to be made of iron as your car just bounces off. The car itself controls like a skunk skiding along butter. The first few minutes I was sliding about crashing into fences and the police car kept smashing into me. It's a chore just to keep the thing on the road. Back when this demo was new, it gave me enough of an experience without having to go out and buy the game and now I see why. Every demo disc has extra features, most impressive is the reviews directory. This is a database of all the reviews the magazine has done throughout its lifetime. It shows each game title with its genre and the score it was graded. Click the name and it will display the full review. Some scores may be questionable to some people such as Blinks the Time Sweeper getting 9.3 out of 10 but I'm just glad I can read it. I haven't played a lot of the original Xbox so I can't comment on the legitimacy of these reviews. There's also 100% completed saves for certain games you can copy to your hard drive if you're one of those people as well as trailers for upcoming games and videos of funny gameplay clips. These discs were clearly made to make everyone's life easier as it advertises upcoming games and all reviews from the magazine to the consumer. I can see a lot of people buying the magazine back in the day just for these discs. They give you a lot of bang for your your buck. It's a strategy that'd never be used in this gaming age, especially as both demos and magazines have essentially been phased out. A clever practice lost to time. Thanks for watching. I'll beat you boys flat on a flat Now boss, can't we just be friends? Friends? <laughs> you two boys got another thing coming if you think I'll forgive you for blowing up that statue.